Now let us get to the favorite part of every design job, the invoice. We'll start with some easy stuff. So here's the list of items you've printed for your client. You see that we know the quantity of how many you've printed and we know the price per item. So we'll start by multiplying, entering the formulas panel to start a new formula. And we'll go directly to the cell selection tool, select the quantity times select the price. Make sure that your formatting is on currency and you have the right currency, which in this case is dollar and the number after that. Hit enter. And you can see the formula is already there. So copy the formula and just keep pasting into the cells below. And you can see it automatically recalculates to multiply the correct quantity and the correct price. Now we have the total amounts for each of the items and we need the grand total. To do that, start editing a formula in the grand total field type sum or you can also enter it from the formula selection like this left parentheses choose again the direct cell address selection tool and select all the cells you want to sum right parentheses again we'll switch our formatting to currency make sure there's dollars enter now we have the grand total for the for the invoice as you can see we have all these prices here these do not have to be typed in. You can also use our other plugin, which is cross references and have your price list in an entirely different document. You can see we've already did it here. We have one cross reference. You can see it. It's for the, for the logo envelopes price right here. And this cross reference leads to another document, which is called price list. And there is just one item price for an envelope. If we change the price in this document, switch back, I didn't click any other buttons, I just switched between the documents, you can see the price changed. You, ch you charge 60 cents per an envelope or you can charge $1.60, we'll just switch back. And again, you can see that the price here has changed. The formula is automatically in the same second recalculated and the total is adjusted too. Now, let's move on to the more complicated stuff. Let's say your client only ordered 250 printed envelopes, but you charge minimum for 500 of printed envelopes. This means we need to adjust this formula a little bit more. You can see right now we have a formula which is simply B4 times C4, which is quantity times price. To do the minimal charge, we need to employ the max function. Let's start by typing in max, left parentheses, 500, which is the minimum amount you charge for with the envelopes, comma, B4, and right parentheses, enter. You can see that now whatever the number here is, if it's lower than 500, you charge your client for 500 envelopes. So it can be 250, it can be 260, 270, and you can see that this number didn't change. If you type in 500, it's still $800. If you print 510 envelopes, it's starting to change to 816 because 500, 510 is more than 500. So this was the max function. The max function always gives you the highest number of the sequence of numbers inputted. It can be just addresses, it can be addresses and a fixed number as in this case, which shows you the minimal charge for the amount sold. There's also a min function. Min function always takes the lowest of the numbers. This could be used, for example, if you sell your customer design work charged on the hourly basis and the, the customer only pays you for a certain amount of hours per month and if it exceeds, they pay this top price. So let's change the company calendar to design work. Let's say you spent 100, 100 hours this month and the price would be $20 per hour. Now you can change the formula for the price in this way. So I'll select the formula. And now you can see it's B times uh, B2 times C2, which is quantity times price again. Now you can employ the min formula. So type in min left parentheses B2, which is the quantity of hours. And let's say the maximum amount of hours your client pays you per month is 200. So we'll enter 200, right parentheses, and enter. 
Now you can see if you work one, 100 hours, you're paid $2,000. If you work 120 hours, you're paid $2,400. If you work 200 hours, you're paid $4,000. If you work 210 hours, you're still paid $4,000 and so on. So this is the top price for the design work you agreed with your client. Now that we have charged our client for the design work and for the printing, we're almost done with the invoice. There is just one small detail still missing. Enter the tax man. Depending on the country we're in, we probably want to charge our client also a sales tax or a value added tax. Let's say our company is European, so we'll charge value added tax VAT. You can just use one of these columns for entering the percentage, which is, let's say, 20%. And here we will calculate the total amount of, the all, of all these subtotals times the tax. So we'll start with sum, left parentheses, again, select all the cells, right parentheses, we have the subtotal, times the quantity, which in this case is percentage. We'll format for US dollars again and enter. Now we have the text. We just need to change the D5 here to D6. So we have all, all the rows above calculated. And now we can see we have the price with the text. You can, of course, change the table, add one, one more footer row. And we can have total with tax and total without tax. So in this case, we'll change change this price back to without tax. We won't count the, the, the tax row. And here we'll add grand total. And we can just sum the, sum the, sum the two rows above. We can either enter the formula from the formulas panel or we can do equals D6 plus D7. Right click convert text to formula and we have the grand total here. We can also create the formula calculating the VAT tax in a more elegant way. We'll create a name for the tax. So go to the names panel, create a new name in a global context, call it VAT and the formula would be simply 20%. You can also add comment which is VAT tax percentage and change the type in 20% here. We, we can change the formula, which will be equals VAT. Again, right click, convert text to formula, 0 0.2. We just need to change the formatting to percentage like this, get rid of the decimal numbers, 20%. We'll change also this formula from sum D2 to D5 times D6. We'll do sum D2 to D5 times VAT. Enter. So now, whenever the text changes, we can just change the amount in the name to, let's say, 21%. And you can see it changed in here and also in the, in the tax calculation.